first dog of eight to go in the medium dogs Stephen Swanky and Fern and there's uh, five faults picked up very early on in the round over the A frame <laughs> Lovely jumping style, this one, Graham. And clear, clears the jumps with a, a lot to spare. It does, but it gets the job done. But again, just a little bit of time lost uh, while it is in the air. If it jumped forward a bit more, that's obviously the preferred style. Through the tunnel and the tyre. Little right-hander on the last couple. And finally, the Kennel Club jump to complete it. 39.9 and five faults getting our medium section underway. Next to go, Lauren Burns and uh, Zebedee. Papillon, Corley Cross, Shelty. First agility dog this uh, for Lauren. He's taken her to just about every big event in the UK. Exceptional little dog. That is Zebedee. Good contact at the bottom of the A-frame. Got over up and down that very, very quickly indeed. Seventy great pace and commitment in his work. Ooh, look at that. Over the dog wall. Wide turn as well. Seventy in sharp form. Lauren doing a great job out there as well. Through that tyre. Right hand turn. Keep an eye on the clock because this is going to be special. 33 dead. No faults. Lauren Burns and Zebedee. Quality. Natasha Pudubecki and Midget, the eight-year-old working Cocker Spaniel. And she, we would expect Midget to scream her way around this course. Natasha Pudubecki from Devon, the handler. <laughs> There we go, there go the screams. Nothing like a bit of sound effects, Graham. And just a little bit of clarification here, the dog's answered the question, actually, it is the dog that screamed his way round. <laughs> but uh, you can't fault this dog's enthusiasm, can you? But uh, there we are, picking up five faults for refusal, and another refusal resulting in a back jump and an elimination there for Natasha, but uh, both uh, her and the dog will continue round here and have a marvellous time. But, uh, our, our judge Chris Huckle from the same part of the world in Devon very very reluctant there when he crossed his arms and said sorry you guys are eliminated I think they call that a little bit of over excitement Jim. this is Liz Carpenter and Maggie two-year-old Collie Cross miniature poodle a dog with a great future Started uh, competing last year from May to December, reached the top grade, grade seven. And in the Team GB selection process as well. Liz Carpenter and Maggie, just two years of age, this Collie Cross. Wearing the blue and yellow, supporting Ukraine, the agility community in this country does, is doing a fantastic amount to support the relief effort in aid of dogs and their handlers over there. But uh, this dog's actually doing its own job of uh, advertising Ukraine as well. And going very well through the weeds, this two-year-old Maggie, and the time looks very good to me as well. Can't hang around at the, the far end of the course. Turns right over that kennel club. That's a good time. 33.4. Runner up right now. Deserved applause from Chris Huckle. Gareth, Cornell, and Maggie May, Patterdale working Terrier. We are enjoying Terrier and Hound Day today here at Crofts on day two. Seven years of age is Maggie May. First time for this pairing competing at Crofts. Such a it's really such a different style. It's really interesting to look at the dogs and compare their, their jumping style in particular. Very neat and very precise. And faultless thus far. Maggie May and Gareth. Probably quicker than you think as well, I think, although just picking up five faults. Um, but uh, won't be among the, the quickest times, but uh, a very, very fine effort. 39 seconds 
into the top three right now, but that could well change. Here is uh, Ashley Butler and Eliza, lovely looking dog, eight year old bearded collie. Third in the jumping this morning and second overall in the championship on day one here at Crufts. Ashley Butler, remember the quickest time, 33.0, but remember everything gets crunched together. And as long as you're right up there and as long as the round is, is clean, not compulsory, of course, but that should keep you in the competition. The pitter patter at the end of the, the dog walk there. But yeah, Ashley whispering her instructions almost to the tyre. It's a good time. It's a clear round. Ashley Butler and Eliza nicely done. Top three. Dalton Meredith, penultimate dog, and Munchie. Six-year-old border collie. Second in this morning's jumping. And what can they do here in the agility? Over the IAMS jump there, up the far end of the course. Clears the U move obstacle with some alacrity. Picks up some pots, probably didn't uh, touch the, the white section at the end of the seesaw there. And more faults accrued for Dalton and for Munchie. And she's clean through the weaves, though. That's an awkward little right hander up through the tyre. Again, the time is good. Ten faults, though. 36.2 in the ten faults in the top six might not be good enough. We'll wait and see when the number crunching happens at the end of this. OK, the last dog first in the jumping this morning, James Adams and Willow. Working Cocker Spaniel. Already a big winner here at Crufts, the last one to go in this medium section. Best time, 33 in the 33s, really unclear. Can they beat that? Well, looking so good at the moment, little Willow. Scampering across, almost eating up the obstacles there as well. That is so quick over the dog wall. This time is looking great at the moment. First 20 seconds, and the weaves completed successfully. Into that tunnel, out of it we go, up to the tyre. This is going to be a great time. It's going to be outstanding time. It really is a great time. It's the best time so far for James Adams and Willow. Great stuff. Outstanding time and an outstanding round. Brilliant. Glorious pictures of Willow and James. James Adams and Willow then, best in the medium section, Lauren Burns and Zebedee uh, second place, and Liz Carpenter and Maggie in third, but uh, we'll see them all again later in the afternoon. It is going to be a heck of a competition, a heck of a finale. Just rounding off the result for you. We've got John Howie from Lint Bells going to do the presentations and they're going to start off with the smalls and Lauren Langman there, the winner of this round of the Croft singles. And Alan Bray is the runner up in this section. Well done, Alan. And after very exciting medium section and we've got James Adams looking uh, very good for this evening's final uh, but I think he's going to be pushed hard there by Lauren Burns with Zebedee 
So I know somebody who's going to be very pleased and well used to being in the limelight, the winner of the intermediate, and it's Natasha Wise. And closely followed up uh, into second place there by Stephanie Best. And then the inform Nara Cuddy, watch her this evening if she's made the final uh, with Lemon, the Border Collie. And Dalton Meredith, who we've seen a lot of today. So big smiles from everybody. And we will uh, look forward to seeing most of these people here this evening. So they're just collecting the glasses so that they don't get dropped on the way uh, they're doing their lap of honour.